Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. It's Greg here to do your tarot reading for Wednesday, the 25th of March 2015. I'm just going to draw my cards here, see what they want to impart and offer. And the first thing I'm getting is dance. And I mean, I'm getting that because all of these people are really moving expressively and I'm getting the body. So please make sure to um, get out and about on this day and to shift any kind of stagnant or stale energy by moving your body. First card is the seven of wands and that represents overcoming obstacles. The next card is the hangman in reverse and it means that you can overcome obstacles by changing your perspective and the seven of swords is you can really coolly and suavely and stylishly walk away from problems in your life by looking at them differently. You're not trapped by anything. Nothing can touch you. And if you change things around by looking at them differently, you can really move forward and be on your path and ignore the situations that seem to be troubling you. So you can see this guy, he's kind of being threatened a little bit by all these ones coming at him. This lady is walking around and suddenly these swords fall from the sky and hit the ground. Similarly threatening. The answer to the problem is to go within, to find the answers within, to let that light of enlightenment shine, to change the perspective around and then to move forward without being harmed. It's an inside job today. And the theme has been really strong lately that your external circumstances don't really have anything on you. Life can only touch you if you see situations as real. You know, so for instance, if I'm living somewhere and I don't like the place I live and I have to go to the council to apply for, um, I don't know, council tax and I have to go to this job every day that I don't like and I don't like the people around me. There's absolutely nothing preventing you from picking up, packing your bags, getting out of there and moving somewhere else. If you're single and by yourself and, you know, that is within your realm of possibility. You can pack your, your bags and leave. And then those circumstances can't touch you because you've decided something within yourself that alters your life completely. Obviously, if you're married with children and you have a mortgage, that's more complicated. But I was using that example from a very extreme point that you can make massive changes in your life as a result of an inner decision. I'm not telling you you need to move countries, but you can think differently about certain things and they can cease to become issues in your life. So that's 12 and 7 is 19 and 7 is 26. 2 and 6 is 8. 8 is power. You have the power to change your life. Don't let your external circumstances dictate to you what you ought to be doing, what you should be doing. No, no, no. What you should be doing is what you want to be doing and what you decide to do. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. And if you'd like to find me on Facebook, you can um, by visiting facebook.com forward slash gregoryscott444. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.